caught more passes versus the Patriots in the Belichick era, including the playoffs, than Reggie Wayne with 79. Skip, if you were Mr. Wayne, hmm. would you have waited for Green Bay? Molly, Stephen A., I would have. And I was very surprised that Reggie Wayne didn't wait at least a day just to let this play out. Just one more day. Now, you know and I know, maybe Belichick put the fear of Belichick in Reggie Wayne and just said, my way or the highway, pal. It's now or never. I don't know. But remember, Reggie Wayne and Aaron Rodgers share an agent in David Dunn. So I'm just guessing that there was some communication going on there. I'm, I'm guessing that Aaron Rodgers would have wanted Reggie Wayne. Who, who wouldn't want Reggie Wayne? Even at age 36, he's, he's just such a good locker room presence. He's so smart. He's so stable, high character, good man, runs great routes. Uh, who wouldn't want that as, as a quasi-replacement, even at age 36, for Jordy Nelson? So why wouldn't you just wait a day to see how Ted Thompson played this? Now, remember, Ted Thompson's reputation is he does not like to go outside and bring in free agents in desperate situations. He likes to build from within and stay the course with his draft picks. And I get that, and I respect the heck out of it. He did it once, you might remember, at running back in 2012 in August when they had a spate of injuries at running back. And he tried Cedric Benson. They went outside and brought in Cedric Benson. Didn't work out. They brought in Julius Peppers as an out-of-character free agent. And it really worked out. So would they have gone for Reggie Wayne? I, I don't know. I, my guess would have been yes. So if you're Reggie Wayne, would you rather play with Aaron Rodgers or with Tom Brady? Well, I know what I'd do there. I would rather play with Tom Brady. I just like the way he operates the offense better throws a little more, to, to my eye, catchable ball. Maybe Reggie Wayne looked at the spate of injuries that the Patriots have suffered at receiver of late, which are many. Brandon LaFell's on the, the PUP list. Edelman's got some unknown lower leg injury. Uh, that kid they brought in, Brandon Gibson, the free agent signee, tore up his knee. He's gone for the year. I could go on and on. Dobson's out. Uh, Tim's is out, so so there's an opening there for some you know uh, some veteran presence to step in, and maybe have a pretty good year with Tom Brady. But still, because of the agent connection, and the bad man that is Aaron Rodgers, I was surprised he wouldn't wait one day just to let this thing play out and maybe compare and contrast two offers instead of just one from Belichick. I respectfully disagree with you. I wasn't surprised at all. As a matter of fact, I anticipated that he'd make this decision, and I am unequivocally convinced that he made the right decision. Here's why. Whether it's this kid, Aberderis, out of Wisconsin mm -hmm. that you talked about yep. yesterday, you got Randall Cobb, you got Devontae Adams, you've got this kid, what's his name here, Ty Montgomery's a possibility, yep. Jeff Janis is a possibility, guys like that. They seem to be loaded at the position in terms of guys that they would want to give a chance to be inserted within the aftermath of Jordy Nelson's departure. And they're going to give guys that have familiarized themselves with the system that have been around, uh, you know, quite a long time and, and or, you know, could do some things. So they, I think they're looking at it from that perspective. If you're Reggie Wayne, you know, you want to be with the New England Patriots, number one, because they've been a nemesis of yours for years, because the vast majority of the times they're the guys who've knocked you out, whether it was Peyton Manning being your quarterback or Andrew Luck. That's point number one. Point number two, you are 36 years of age. Point number three. Three of the last four seasons, you haven't had a thousand yard season. So there's some dissipation that has taken place there. Yes, you still can run routes. Yes, you still have speed. Yes, you still have tremendous ability. You're a great, great guy. You're a consummate professional. You deserve to still be in this league. There is no question about that. But you might be looking at your own humanity, wondering about you know, just, just, just for the time, knocking away at you and losing Jordy Nelson and people looking for somebody to come in and replace that is something that Reggie Wayne may be ill-equipped to
to live up to. Whereas in New England, you have a bevy of dudes. You've got a Rob Gronkowski. You've got the Amendolas and the Edelmans and what have you. And with Gronkowski there, basically suffocating the middle of the field because he's going to draw all the attention, it gives you room at the wideout spot to really do damage that you may not necessarily have in Green Bay because the tight end spot is their weakest position. That's their Achilles heel on the offensive side of the ball. So I think if you look at all of those things, it is clear that Reggie Wayne made the right decision not to also add the familiarity with AFC competition. Can't ignore that either. Okay, but now we're back to Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady. If you're Reggie Wayne, which quarterback would you rather play with? Tom Brady. Because, because that's the one that's the one I'm used to going up against that's repeatedly beat me. Well, what yeah, so you if you can't beat him, join him? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, I mean, have, we, have you not seen that? Well, well, again. That happens everywhere. Okay, but all I ever hear from you is is that Aaron Rodgers is all-time great, that he's by far the he's best the quarterback best to me, today. Skip. Right? He's the best He's the best to me. But, Skip, if he's won, Tom Brady's 1A. And that's debatable in a lot of people's eyes, including yourself. The greatness of Tom Brady can't be debated. So if you combine that with the fact that this has been my nemesis for the vast majority of my career, playing within the same conference, understanding the greatness of a Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots and what they customarily put out on the field year in and year out. If I'm Reggie Wayne, that's the direction I may want to go in. If I'm Randy Moss, accustomed to playing in the AFC, there was no England, and I'm going by years of playing in Minnesota. If I'm a Des Bryant and I decide that, you know, someday I'm getting out of Dallas, that I'm going to be in the AFC. If I'm one of these guys from the NFC, rather, then, of course, I might look at Aaron Rodgers differently than I look at Tom Brady. What's the problem? I don't understand the difficulty in comprehending that. It, it sounds to me like you're finally coming all the way around on my guy, Tom Brady, and now no. you've made him a 1A even. You've got 1 and 1A. This skip, is the guy one, you have. Once again, wait a second. Once again, you, you, you're just dishonest to no, the American you're public. You're dishonest. You, you you're just dishonest. Thank under God the you're not running for you're not running for election. You'd be out of the race. They'd catch you in your lines. No, I they have would never catch you questioned in, the in what greatness you of Tom Brady. You, I've never questioned the greatness of Tom Brady. I just said he ain't Aaron Rodgers. Wait a second. And I stand by that. Can I quote you on? He tap dances more than the so, late great Gregory Hines. So does Peyton Manning. I, that doesn't mean they're not shot. great. That just mean they tap dance that, very well. That's oh, all. Oh, so you're you're talking about off the field? He actually can tap dance. Is that no, what you're talking about? No, no, no. I'm talking in about the in pocket. the pocket. Thank you. Well, you got to remember. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers doesn't have to tap dance because he actually has the ability to run and scramble. Tom Brady doesn't oh, do that. Oh. Peyton Manning doesn't do that. Okay. So they got to tap dance oh. in the pocket. Aaron Rodgers does not have to do that oh, because he has mobile me. skills that it. they don't have. Mm. Time out. I is, that, is, that a, is that not true? Is uh, that not true? I, I think what's is true, true is that you have ridiculed Tom Brady in the past as a dink and dunk artist who tap dances under pressure. The brother is big time. He's just no Aaron Rodgers. No one is. Aaron Rodgers is the best, man. Aaron Rodgers is the best. Okay, so to clarify, Stephen A., you think Wayne shouldn't have waited. He did the right thing playing with Brady. Skip, you would have waited maybe to see. And would you Just have stay. gone Brady or would you have I'm, gone Rodgers? I'm, I'm Tom Brady all day. You're Team Brady. I like to right, catch those all... easy passes <laughs> instead of those we're, bullets. We're Team Brady for the dink and dunk yeah. right now. Yeah. Speaking of vets getting called up. We love you, Stephen A. Michael Vick mm. hasn't been signed by any team this offseason, but that may change soon. We'll tell you which team is interested after the break. Plus, Hall of Famer Jerome Bettis, a.k.a. The Bus, joining the desk next. See.